What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Leechy Athletic Creator Club Career Mode here on FIFA 22. We are late in the month of January. Will there be any late movement? If there is any late movement, we will need to raise some funds from player sales because at the moment our budget is around, let's put it to 70, 30, 765k. That's not really enough to do what we need to do. We need to sign a crucial midfielder or a crucial attacking player. I don't know if that's going to happen, to be honest with you, unless we make a player sale. We have a few players up for sale. Our captain being Buckley. He is up for sale. He's 30 years of age. His growth is stunted and he will start to decrease upon the next months. So if we can sell him, that might be a clever bit of business for a couple of million and bring in a new look defensive midfielder. But we're going to have to wait to see if anyone comes in and triggers that sale. Guys, today we're going to start off against Aston Villa in the FA Cup. The last episode, we beat Newcastle to go through. So we've already beaten a Premier League team in the FA Cup. Could this be a second giant killing? Let's do this. Leech Athletic away from home against Aston Villa. Here we are, boys. Another chance to see some Premier League players. Danny Ings, 29 years of age now. Fantastic finisher as Danny Ings. Always has been. I wonder what his career would have looked like without some of those big injuries he got earlier on. I think he could have been an absolute sensation in English football. He still is a fantastic striker. Just unfortunate that he got those injuries in his early career. But today, we're going to have to beat a fantastic goalkeeper in Emmy Martinez. Now, I do believe he's starting. He is. There he is. And they've got a Big, big banner up for him. He's a fan favourite, Aston Villa. My club, Arsenal, in real life, sold him. And I still can't get that out of my head. How have we gone from selling him to then deciding Leno isn't actually good enough to then deciding to spend 30-plus million on a Ramsdale after potential add-ons? Yeah, strange one. But Danny Ings is the threat for them. We have Brown. He's the threat up front for us. Kick off in the FA Cup, boys. Lord on the ball into Buckley. Camera angle looks a bit different in this stadium. It's more on top of the players, which I don't actually mind. I don't mind the different camera angle from game to game. Keeps it feeling fresh for myself when I'm playing it. Into Bretagne. He's got forward well here. We can get a good cross in. Emmy Martinez reads it. Okay. I think it's going to be difficult to get a ball into the box with the height of Tyrone Mings and the capabilities of Emmy Martinez. However, I think if we keep the ball on the ground and use our fast-flowing football, we can be a threat to Aston Villa. But no doubt they're going to be a threat to us as well. And here is Matty Cash, one of my favourite players from FIFA 21 career mode. He was absolutely incredible. Danny Ings now have a chance. Oh, my days. What the hell was that? A very young player. I didn't even catch his name, but wow. Uh, yeah, shocking, shocking strike from him. Maybe leave the shooting to Danny Ings, lad. Not about good attacking play. Always comes through Bird. Into Tyrese Campbell. Gonna try and pull it back on the edge of the box of Buckley. You can hit them! Oh my god! And I am considering selling him. Oh, why can't he be like four years younger? He's an absolute animal. Off the bar. So close to taking the lead in this game. Vasilev to. Matt Target. I wonder if I should do another Aston Villa career mode this year. Maybe you guys should let me know in the comments. Would you like to see Aston Villa career mode again for the second year in a row? Bird. Out towards Campbell. And the cut inside here. Oh, it's nicely done. Tyrese Campbell. Still going, Tyrese Campbell. Oh, it's overplayed. I should have had the shot earlier. That was a wasted chance. And now Villa are going to come forward themselves. Vasilev. Douglas Louise. Sigurdsson. Oh, my God, no. Danny Ings, he's in behind. Danny Ings, he's cut it back. Stindle! Premier League quality, that is there. Stindle with an absolute stunning strike. Danny Ings had the presence of mind to cut it back. And Stindle smashed it back in to the back of the net. Absolute banger. Aston Villa take the lead. Can we stay in this game? Can we... Sting Aston Villa, maybe from a counter-attack. If we can stay in the game and not get smashed, then we have a chance. The next goal is absolutely crucial to this tie. 25 minutes gone, Aston Villa have the lead. Douglas Louise and Sigurdsson starting to pull the strings now. Danny Ings as well, starting to really be a bit of a menace. 
Preston trying to defend the best he can. Into Danny Ings. Well read by the keeper. Oh, he let go of it. Why did he let go of the ball there? Bird trying to get us up the pitch. He's done well. It's a good ball now on to Campbell. I want to get it. Oh, for God's sake, the pass. A better pass there. And Brown would have been in behind. Aston Villa had bodies forward. Tyrese Campbell with a lacklustre pass. Really lacking that little bit of quality at the moment to get back in this game, guys. Well tackled there. Brilliant challenge from Buckley. Can he now find a good pass? It's a decent... Oh, again. The passing! He's annoying me. FIFA Rage. It's bound to happen sooner rather than later. In towards Dickinson. Thank God that pass didn't go to Aston Villa player. That would have threw me off. Oh, my God. Bird! Yes! Come on! Luigi Athletic! Could this be an upset year in the Emirates FA Cup? Luigi Athletic... We would love to go all the way. We would love to even just reach like a quarter-final stage. And we are level with Aston Villa. Just like that. Great play. Bretain gets high up the pitch as we love him to do. Our wing-backs bomb on and inside. Slide ball. Bird, the player we signed from Derby County on deadline day in the summer window. And number eight, he's looking like an absolute animal in the midfield. Wow. 1-1. One, one. Five minutes until half-time, boys. This game is brilliant. Ings on the ball. Ball out wide to Vasilev. Is he going to get there? He is. Oh, it's a brilliant first touch from him. Brilliant defending from Preston. And we now can get ourselves back up the pitch. Campbell in towards Dickinson. Out wide to double T. I want to get a 1-2 on here if I can. Can he get on the end of that? Matty Cash defends excellently. And Aston Villa standing strong. Although they're giving the ball away again. But we've then given it back to them. A bit frantic at the minute. I need to get my foot on the ball and start to play my stuff again. Because if I let it go end to end, I can only see one winner. And that being Aston Villa. Because they have more quality overall on the pitch. And again, giving it away so cheaply. And here they come. Stindall. Fleonge Bid. Dale, I think his name is, a youth academy player. It looks like for Aston Villa or a youth player. Brown. Oh, we could be onto something here. <gasps> Buckley. He's not the fastest. He's our captain. He's up for sale. He's one of our best players. Buckley! Scars! Can I really let him go? I just don't know anymore. He is an animal. He's 30 years of age and he's just scored to help Leeds Athletic take the lead at Villa Park. I can't believe we're winning this one. Newcastle, I know they can be quite a poor team on FIFA because of the way the game is set up for them with Steve Bruce and his possession, well, his lack of possession on the ball. Aston Villa, on the other hand, are a much better side. And uh, we're beating them, but they've just made a big change. Leon Bailey enters the fold. At 2-1, we have an advantage. Stindall on the ball into Douglas Louise. Sprays it to Vasilev. Aston Villa now starting to uh, build up some confidence in their play. That is going to drop for Britain, and we get away with that. And Ferguson's done really well. No, he hasn't. That's a shocking pass. Some of my passing today in this game has been terrible. Oh, no. Do not. Do not. Bailey. He's putting the string. Vasilev. Big save from Matthews. 12 minutes to go. Furious Dean Smith that his side are behind in this one. And another big change. Douglas Louise off. And they're bringing on Super John McGinn. 12 minutes to go, boys. Into McGinn. Still out. Uh -oh. oh, no! Thank God for Dylan Matthews in that goal. I think he's, oh, he's well offside. That's a shocking decision to play him in there. He's well offside. And we escape that. Ten minutes remain. Ten minutes. And we're through. Yet another Premier League side in the FA Cup. We just need to see this out. We just need to see this out. No need to do anything stupid. Buckley. Going to dink it over the top. Dickinson might get on the end of this. Dickinson puts it back across with a header because he's too far out to shoot from there. And now Aston Villa are going to come back at me. Please, please, please let me get through this game. Please. 
We've gone 2 0 against Newcastle. We're winning 2 1 against Aston Villa. No wonder we're beating League Two teams with ease. We are beating Premier League teams at the moment. And Aston Villa running out of play. They have not been firing today whatsoever. Too late in the day. Ings off. And I think that's going to be Ollie Watkins coming on. It's too late. It's too late. Surely, surely we have won this game. Surely! We are on to something special at Leachy Athletic. We are moving on in the FA Cup. And Aston Villa are another Premier League side out from our hands. Brilliant from us. I am very happy today. Because that, that could be one of the biggest wins that we ever get. Wow. What can we achieve this year in the FA Cup? At the minute, we could do anything we want. All right then, guys, here we go then. Brilliant win against Villa in the FA Cup, but focus back on League Two now because we need to continue on a good way for today's episode. Just two losses this season. One right at the beginning against Leighton Orient, and we lost in the last episode as well, I think, against Scunthorpe 3-2. Our goal difference is outstanding at 35. Our points difference is a six-point gap. We can extend it to a nine-point gap if we can beat eighth-placed Hartlepool United. I think we should win this one. I'm going to skip this game because we are literally a few days away from the end of the January window. And I'd like to see how that finishes. And today's game finishes with a 1-0 win. Bird again in midfield. Scoring yet another goal for Leachy Athletic. I'm telling you, Derby County have had to, they've had to sell him because they're in administration. But they've let go one of their top players. And our manager ratings dropped to a 69, which is a little bit concerning. I'm not sure why that is a big offer in. For our keeper in Dylan Matthews. Now we are struggling to sell any other players at the moment. So. Do I risk this. And sell our number one keeper. Use the backup keeper. And. Risk it. For a chocolate biscuit. Because we need to bring in. A better midfielder. Otherwise the board are going to be very unhappy. Because at the minute they're looking very. We're going to a down to a 69 manager rating. Which is a shocker. Um, 3.85. I think we could get more. So should we go in and negotiate that? We will. Before we do that, Prince Ochiang, let's um, let's agree to sell him. If we can get 8.9 million for him, we'll take that, and then we'll go in and we'll negotiate this with Fenerbahce. See if we can get ourselves a couple more million pounds, and then maybe we can go out and get ourselves a midfielder that we want. Because I've got a midfielder in mind, but at the minute I haven't got the funds available. So they're saying 3.8. If we propose a new fee. Let's say four and a half million pounds. And then add a sell on clause as well, just in case he becomes a superstar of five percent. Let's see what they think about that. They want to go three point eight and no sell on. Will they go up a little bit more to like four point two five? Can we squeeze more money? Yes, we can. Do you know what? For Dylan Matthews, who I checked his development plan, he's hit a growth stunt. He's not going to grow anymore unless dyna dynamic potential really takes over. So if we can get four million for him, I'll take that. We might get some more money for Prince as well. So we now need to just basically wait and see what happens. This is um, we are on deadline day, right? Okay, so let's just skip this training. Deadline day is upon us, boys. Deadline day is upon us. We need to get these deals done quick. Oh, St. Maximin loses, lose, leaves Newcastle for thirty-four million to Inter Milan. I can see. Nine hours, eight hours. Come on, these deals need to go through. Otherwise, I'm not going to have enough time. Here we go. Two emails. Matthew sold. Ochiing sold. Excellent news, guys. So it does weaken the team a little bit because the goalkeeping position is definitely weaker. However, goalkeepers can be found pretty easily. So we'll probably do that either next season or maybe use the Youth Academy at the end of this season. We want to bring in a midfielder. Now, I'm going to go into my transfer hub. And I'm going to take Buckley off of the Sal list. Maybe he will leave next season because next year he'll be 31, pushing 32. But I want to improve the midfield. I want to bring in a younger midfielder that can play the defensive midfield role. Maybe he'll be back up this season to Buckley. But next year he'll definitely take the starting spot. And this guy is who I'm going to go for. Han Noah Masenio. He looks like an absolute superstar. I'm digging the hair. It's an absolute vibe. This player, French international... Will he leave Bristol City and come play for us? We have the funds available now to bring him in. Can we get the deal done? That is the real task. Let's approach the buy now and try 
try and get this deal over the line. If we can, I'll be very, very pleased indeed. His base value is 2.8. That's what we're going to offer. That will leave us 1.8. They're happy to sell the lad. There's no negotiating being done. We now just need to give him a nice contract so we can confirm, confirm him as a new midfielder. He's going to be crucial. And that, that should then tick off the list we needed to do by bringing in a crucial midfielder. Because he will be crucial. He is a star man in that midfield moving forwards, I promise you. Four-year deal for him. No release clause either. And a wage of, I'm going to say, give him... 13k a week. That leaves us 1.8 mil. There we go! Massinho signs! We've got another board objective done as well. Tick, we signed a crucial midfielder and we signed a midfielder that I really wanted to get. I didn't think I'd be able to get him until next year, maybe even the championship, but I've got him now. That's great because I can help him develop quicker. Brilliant news, guys. We've bought in a brilliant midfield player. Now, manager rating's gone from a 69 back to an 82. Thank the Lord, because I really didn't want to get sacked in my own creator club. So we've done that board objective. That one is half done. The other half will be done next season because we'll promote someone from the Youth Academy this year who will play a lot next year. Continental success, none of that this year. We should win the league title, so that should be okay. Emirates FA Cup reached the round of 16. I'm not sure where we are at the moment, if we're in the round of 32 or the round of 16. So we might be able to do that. We're on a great FA Cup run at the moment. And I don't think we're going to pass that because our wage bill has definitely gone up. Because I've had to offer a lot of new contracts and obviously bought in players on decent money as well. Other than that, I'm pretty happy. I'm going to jump in. Obviously, we need to now add Masencio to the team. We've got a lot of wide players that I really want to get rid of at some point. But at the moment, struggling to get them off the books. So, Masencio will come in. I think I will leave him on the bench just for now. Just because of how well Buckley's playing. But over the next few weeks and months, you will see Buckley coming out of the team a little bit more and Masengio starting the game. Because that that midfield of Dickerson, Burden, Masengio will be absolutely brilliant to use over the next few seasons. Guys, we have lost a keeper. Now, let me just check my youth academy because I'm not sure if I've got any. Because I've only got one keeper at the minute. So I will need to bring in a keeper from somewhere. We have. Perfect. That's fine. I'll keep, um, for this season, what we'll do is we'll promote him to the senior team. And Lemon, who at one point I was trying to let go, will be our number one keeper. 67 rated, not the best. But at least now I can say that we've got two keepers. So that makes me a bit more comfortable. Now we've got a little bit of money left. I'm not sure what else to do with it. I don't think I want to do anything else with it, to be honest with you. I think I'm going to use the rest of that money... That I've got on another Youth Academy Scout, to be honest. Because at the minute, this guy isn't getting us anything special. Now, what can we get for 1.8 million? We can get a 4 star, 4 star, which is decent. So we'll probably go ahead and do that. We'll hire this guy. We'll set up a scouting network and we'll send him out. I think I want to send him out to Spain for three months and we'll go and ask him to find us some technically gifted players out in Spain because they have them in abundance so there we go that's pretty much everything we're going to be doing in this transfer window I'm happy with that I'm very happy with that so this is your squad there's lots of growth in here 76 rated Terry 74 Brown a 72 Campbell you've got Dickinson at 75 Bird at 71 Buckley at 74 Lord 69 hopefully he can grow a bit if he can't then I might have to replace him as well next year although he's a fantastic Fantastic player. He plays like about a 75, 80 rated player. Preston, Bell and Bretain and Lemon in goal. Happy with the bench now. I'm essential. Bryant, who I've enjoyed using when he's played. Wilson's been excellent. Ferguson as well. And Kustiasis as well. And, and we've got some other players on the reserves that I'm not really that bothered about. A lot of these will be leaving. The only player that probably survive out of the reserves is Stoika, who we did bring in. Might loan him out next year um, so he can grow because I know he's got high potential. Okay, let's advance then. In this deadline day, a uh, few hours left to see if any big deals come our way. 2.8 million, that's a lot of money to spend for a League 2 club. But Leeds Athletic are heavy investors, just like Salford are. We invest heavy in our playing squad because we want success on the pitch and we want to move up the leagues as quick as possible. To be honest, I want a promotion in three back-to-back -back leagues. I want to go straight up to the Prem, back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. And then the first year in the Prem will all be about survival and trying to get a mid-table finish probably as well. 
So here we go. This is the last hour of deadline day. It's all done, all dusted. I hope you're happy with the sign-ins. Smash the like button if you are. If you're new as well, subscribe. Click the notification bell. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think of the squad so far. I hope you agree. I hope you like. And I hope you're excited for this ever-growing Leachy Athletic team. Okay then, guys. This is the calendar for the rest of February. Well, the whole of February. My idea is to sim it up until this game here against Barrow and play the last few games of the month. Hopefully, we can get some good results between now and then. So let's get some simulation going. We're still in the early access. This is going to be one of the last episodes on early access. We win 2-0 against Orient, who we lost earlier in the season two. We've beat Bradford, and we've beaten Walsall. So we've had really good start to the month in February. And look at that, the league table. We're absolutely storming the bloody title, aren't we? We're going to win the title, no doubt about it. 68 goals scored, only 26 conceded, a 42 goal difference, 74 points as well. We are flying with it. 13 point gap on Crawley. Surely the league title is ours, guys. Lots of emails. Oh, it's probably players being scattered. I'll look through those in a minute. I'm going to jump into this game, though, because this is a good game to be jumping into. It's LAFC. Leachy Athletic back at home again against Barrow, and they are high on the table. They're in third, so can we open up even a bigger gap between first and third? Okay, boys, welcome to a snowy evening at the Leachy Dons Arena. This game, I'm hoping, isn't too difficult to see the pitch lines. I'm a bit concerned about that already. Hopefully, it doesn't affect the gameplay. Hopefully, I can see what I'm doing. And there's a massive kick clash as well. They are in the white and blue while we're in our all blue. I don't know why. That's definitely a glitch still on EA Play. I changed the kits before the game, and it's changed them back. So, yeah, we're going to have to just put up with this. Might have to just try and smash them early doors and skip the rest of the game just because it's pretty hard to tell who the hell is who. Um, just a couple of things to note then just quickly. I want you to be aware. I've chucked in all of the new signings for this game. So you're going to see Bird, you're going to see Kustiasis, Stoika and Masenchno as well. He will be in defensive midfield. So some players in there to watch out for. Let's see if they can help us to, oh, excuse me, a big win. Boys, I really can't tell who the hell's who. This is just ridiculous. This is stupid. I cannot tell where my players are and where their players are. And they are in behind me here. Nearly go 1-0 up. This is going to be difficult to see. Ah, so annoying. Do you know what? I'm so guys, I really do apologise, but I'm gonna jump to the result because I can't see what I'm doing. I win the game. Terry double T gets the double. We win it 2-0 against Barrow. That's a bit frustrating. I really wanted to play that game. But um yeah, EA play has a few glitches at the minute. So especially for me at the moment anyway, on Creative Club Career Mode. So we're gonna advance the time. We're definitely gonna play this one. I hope and I can only hope and pray it doesn't bug out again and change the kits. Let's do this one then. Fifth place, Bristol Rovers. Please let me play this one, FIFA. And please, stop it from snowing and stop changing the bloody kits. Thank God for that, guys. Looks like this time the game has listened to my commands. We have our away kit on. They've got their home kit on. No kit clash here. No snow as well. Because that was horrific. I couldn't even see the pitch properly. Couldn't see the pitch. Couldn't see the players. It was an absolute shambles. EA play, sort your shiz out, please. I've got about an hour left, so this episode, and maybe might just squeeze in one smaller episode after this as well. Hopefully I can, guys. Let's get the win against Bristol. Um, I'm going to keep the same team as what I just showed you for the game that I had to skip, so all your new signings are still starting today. Excited to see what they can do. Masenchino now on the ball. Good turn into Bird, who's been absolutely emphatic for us. Stoika as well, he's inside, in towards Costiasas. Oh, it's cleared away. Okay, promising start. Eight minutes played. Retain on the ball. Into Kustiasis. Onto Masenchno now. Is he going to drive through? He is. Masenchno! Oh. Very promising from him. I would have loved that to have been his first goal in, like, literally moments. That would have been absolutely incredible. Unlucky lad. Decent effort. Just wasn't meant to be. We're approaching half time. We haven't been that impressive, I have to say. We definitely lacked quality up the top end of the pitch. Of course, the assist now. He isn't quite at the level of Brown at the moment. But he's got the ball here. It's into Bird. Masencio now. No closing down at the moment. There we go. It, this is what keeps happening. As soon as I'm about to pull the trigger, they close me down. It's really frustrating. It looks like we're going to go in at half time. 
probably at nil nil although we've got possession back here one more chance maybe Dickinson yeah again look they've just made another tackle right on the edge of the box very frustrating stuff in the first half second half gonna jump straight into it we need them goals I have to say in the first half our passing was pretty terrible that's a good pass double T we could be in behind we are straight after kickoff for the second half Double T! Let's go! He gets himself a goal. It's been a few games without one, and he's got one today. He's brilliant. He's my favourite, I think, in this career mode. Let me know what you think, guys, in the comments. Who's your favourite player in this career mode? Mine's Eva. I don't know, because I've got a soft spot for Buckley now, but it's probably Double T. He's probably just about my favourite player. It's a great finish from that angle as well. And again... EA early access is frustrating me. I've changed these boots about 10 times and it keeps changing them back. I'm not going to bother changing anyone's boots or anything like that again because I'm just going to have to wait until full, the full game's released on Monday because at the minute, yeah, it's winding me up. Lays it into Wilson. Back to Dickinson if I can. No, lacklustre pass. I can't wait for the day we get to the Premier League and we're going to have like much higher rated players with passing ability because at the minute we don't have much passing ability back across goal though should have been two dickinson smashed it straight at the keeper all he needs to do is pick a corner and that was two nil it's really really frustrating we haven't taken the chances we have made they haven't made any and they give the ball away so cheaply all game long terry's come all the way across here on the other side of the pitch wilson in towards Brown, back to Masencio now, still with him, he's going to turn away from his markers, Masencio from right, ah, welcome, welcome, I love in the hair, look at the movement on it, love a bit of that son, Masencio scores on his first, well, technically his first game, that snowy game, that don't count, that sucked ass, that was an absolute beauty. Fantastic finish from him. And that does secure us the win. That is 2-0. That should be game, set, match. Keeper getting nowhere near. It's a bullet. It's a brilliant bullet. And it's 2-0. 89th minute, boys. A few seconds left of this game. We'll just see it out now for a nice 2-0 win. I barely ever concede in this division when I play the games. That's why I'm simming quite a lot of the minute. Because I kind of know when I play I'm going to win. I mean, if I can beat Newcastle... And put in a real good shift and just beat Aston Villa. I can definitely beat teams like Bristol Rovers in League 2. And I've done so today with a 2-0 win. Another clean sheet, another two goals and another three points in this division that we are absolutely running away with. Alright then guys, after a fantastic few months, finally we got ourselves into the manager awards for the League 2 campaign. We have won the manager of the month award. Well deserved, I must say so myself. Especially with the signings and the team. It's looking really, really strong now. And we have our first scout report back from Spain. So let's check this one out from Taylor Parker. Um, Christian Jimenez, no, it's not going to work out for him. Germain Escobar, worth 425k. Short, we'll sign him. Ivan Arias, no. Marcano, yes. Velasquez, yes. And Torres, no. Okay, some... Decent couple of players there than we've added to our youth academy, which is ever-growing. Let's just check it out, see some of them players. So we've got a couple, yep. Yeah, it is developing nicely. I'm going to release this guy because he's never going to make it 49 rated. Anyone above 55, I'll keep. Anyone below at this point, I'll re uh, release. So we'll keep Wells, Stevens, Marcano, Velasquez, and Escobar. Thankfully, our youth academy is growing nicely. Thankfully, we've got a decent enough squad. And, uh, yeah, not thankfully, though. This game's going to be tough. For real. This is going to be the biggest game we've ever had. The toughest game we've ever had. This is Leachy versus Pep. This is LAFC versus Manchester City. This is the Emirates FA Cup. Let's do it. Okay, guys, you can see I'm suited and booted and I'm having a chat to my players. As manager of the month, I've gained some big respect in the dressing room as of late. The players really do believe... I can take this football club from nowhere to somewhere. Somewhere being the Premier League where Manchester City are residing from. In the Emirates FA Cup today, we've had three Premier League oppositions in a row. We beat Newcastle 2-0. We beat Aston Villa 2-1. Man City, though, yeah, that's a different task completely, isn't it? 
and we are in the all blue and they're in the all white as we kick off the biggest ever game in Leachy Athletic history. Dinchenko on the ball. Dinks it into Rodri. God, the quality they've got. There's no... 0.01% chance I'm going to win this game, but I'm going to give it everything. Gabriel Jesus already. Look, they're already cutting me up. Open it up. Grealish. Good block there from Bretagne. Really well defended. And uh, we can't get it away. It's going to come straight back at us here. No one's marking. No, the players are defending. And uh, yeah, a very early chance of Man City. Gabriel Jesus works the keeper. Decent strike. It's a beautiful kit for City, by the way. I love it. All white. And then it's like a reflective kind of badge and uh, sponsor. It's beautiful. Man City corner. Mares into Grealish. See, Pep Guardiola must rate me and my club because he's playing one of the strongest ever teams he's ever played at this round of an FA Cup. Grealish now. Gundogan scores. What a goal. Wow. Now, come on, boys. We, accept, we have to accept that Man City may be a step too far. That would be uh, pretty outrageous if we could knock them out. But we're still in the game. It's only just a 1-0. Let's just hope it doesn't turn into an absolute rout. Because uh, that could damage the confidence of this team. And to be honest, the only things we've got left to play for is this FA Cup. And uh, the league title, pretty much. I think we're confirmed it's going up. We're going to finish in the top two. But are we going to win the title? That's all we need to find out, really. The minute we are losing this FA Cup. And at the minute, we are heading out. Oh, dear, mate. Mares. Oh my god, he's just absolutely mugged me off. Oh, I've just... I panicked, I went sliding in. Preston has been excellent for me this season. He's given away a penalty and maybe given away our only chance in this game. Kevin De Bruyne looks absolutely incredible on FIFA 22. Wow. Look at that. De Bruyne on the penalty. I'm going to go bottom right. Yes! Big save from Lala Lemon! That was an excellent stop. It needs to be. And he's kept us in the game at the minute. Still only 1-0. Could have been 2. It should have been 2. Man City miss a chance. I'm sure they're going to create plenty more. Ball in the box. Can we head it away? Preston, the man who gave away the penalty, heads it away. We haven't been able to get rid of it. We've saved the penalty. But we are still not out of trouble here. Lemon saved us again. Really good goalkeeping. Remember, we sold Dylan Matthews today. Our number one keeper. 74 rated. Lemon! Oh, he's brilliant. Oh, he's sensational. What a save. Same with pretty much most of my players. Dickinson is going to drop for Terry. Oh, could have a chance here. Lord, get a ball across the box. Brown. Oh, Stefan in goal, who he bought on our sil um, round Betis career mode on FIFA 21. He was excellent for us in that career mode. He was excellent there, and he stopped us from just about nicking a, a, a leveller. It would have been. De Bruyne, oh damn, Jesus and De Bruyne are picking me to bit. Bro, what a goal! Kevin De Bruyne, up. yeah. Yeah, one step too far, I think, this round of the FA Cup. De Bruyne is absolute world class, isn't he? What a strike, my God. My God. That is just a ridiculous strike, it's like a dart. 2-0 City. <laughs> Sorry, boys. And that shows the difference between League 2 and pre top Premier League quality. Rodri now. Diaz, Gomez, Rodri, Gomez. Oh, my God. Three. Knockout blow. Gomez bangs it in. Yeah. 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 Love it. So annoying. So good. And, uh, yeah, kind of expected, lads. Bryant. Just stop them from scoring a fourth. I think a 3-0 loss isn't terrible. 4-0 loss would be a bit disheartening, not going to lie. Terry. Oh. Oh, they read all of my passes, and my players today just haven't read each other. I think they've just been overwhelmed and starstruck by absolute. Look at the pl look at the passing. Is it insane? Oh no! Oh, thank God. Greenish should have made it four, and uh, Pep Guardiola will be very unhappy with his wasteful wastefulness today. Nearly at the end of the game. Can we get a goal just to make me a bit happy? Don't think so. Yeah, mate, mate. Actually, hold on. One more chance. One more chance. You never know. 
Oh, freaking hell. They're so good. They're on another planet. On another universe. And we're out of the FA Cup. Guys, it's all about League Two football now. Man City, of course they beat us. What was I expecting? I was praying for a cup upset. We got two this season. Newcastle and Aston Villa. Man City, step way. Way too far. Okay then, guys. Unfortunate to be out of the FA Cup, but the League Two season is still ongoing. And we are going to get through this month right here, right now. I feel like I've kind of, yeah, I've kind of had enough of playing in League Two now. I'm not going to lie. This team is too good for it. We're not good enough for the Premier League, clearly. Well, I don't know. We could we beat a couple of them. But League Two, we're too good for it. It's kind of... it's don't know. It's a bit pointless, to be honest, us being in League Two at this point. Because we're dominating everybody. Look, even just by skipping the games there. Look how many we've just won. Now, we've got a month and a bit left. 39 games, 93. We've already... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're already promoted, aren't we? There's no way that anyone can catch us now. I think we're, 20, we're 23 points clear. Surely that is the league done. Let's check our emails and just see what we've got through over the last month. Scout report back. Uh, Gallardo, no thank you. Cano, short. Royo, no. Rodriguez, no. And Gerardo, no. Decline those ones. An offer in for Lucas. It's a loan offer for one of the youth players we've promoted up. We'll accept that. He, he will go out on loan next season. That's fine. Uh, an offer will come in for Moss, but we didn't see it. But that's fine. We're not really that bothered about it. That, to be honest. one Another scout report from England. No way. Garner, Tucker, no. And Isaac Taylor will say no to him as well. Okay, guys. I'm going to make a call here. I hope you don't mind. I'm praying you don't mind. I'm going to skip the rest of the season. All right? Hear me out. Look how clear we are in the league. Okay? We're dominating it. We're too good for League 2. Brown, top goal scorer at the moment. The players. Yeah. I'm just finding it too easy. And it's not enjoyable. When you know every game you're definitely going to win, it's just not fun. And it's probably not that fun for you guys to watch because you know I'm going to win the games. So I'm going to skip now to the end of the season. This will be the last episode of this season. All right. So League 2 is done. We are already promoted. I'm pretty, well, 99.9999999% sure at this point it is already done. This is the last month. We're just getting it through now. The game's... If I sim, if I play, I feel like either way, I'm pretty much going to win 99%, as I've just said of them. So this is the end of the League 2 season, guys. We've done it in really, really, really good time. Very quick indeed. And I'm very happy to say that we've got some good signings in this season. Okay. A lot of them you'll see a hell of a lot more next season. I'm really concerned my manager rating at the minute. It's really starting to annoy me, actually, that it keeps going down and down and down because... I've just won the league. I beat two Premier League sides in the FA Cup. And I'm still had, I've still got bad manager rating. I mean, I've done a lot of the objectives that the board have set me. Everything they've set me, I've done. I ended on 110 points. So, 103 goal difference. Yeah, we're too good for the league. It was a bit stupid. It's pointless, almost, us playing anymore. So, hope you agree. Brown ended the top goal scorer with 28 goals. Wow, it's pretty incredible. Top assist up was double T, 12 in 46, and we didn't get the most clean sheets in the league. Um, nowhere near it, actually, in the end, but that's fine. It didn't really matter because the amount of goals we scored. Guys, that is the end of this season, then. A very, 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 very basic, simple, easy, straightforward season, to be honest with you. We're going to reject this deal for Lemon. I don't really want to do any deals now until next season. So, we'll leave that. We are going to get promoted up to League 1 now. So, the next episode, it will be League 1 football, which is very exciting indeed. We're in a division higher. Ooh, Daniel Sanderson to end the season. A good scout player that we found. Rogers, no. Hope, no. Lee, yes. Nicholas, yes. Hammond. Oh, he's worth a million. Yes, that could be a special one. Remember that name, James Hammond. Uh, Vickers, no. Rutherford, no. And then we'll advance it again. And, uh, yeah, we should be heading into the final couple of days as the manager in this season. Oh, here we go. Sanderson's a 61 rated. And Stevenson now a 64. And Hammond is a 60, but he's only 15. So he's going to get better by the time we can actually promote him up. 
So yeah, guys, I hope you're happy with the way this has gone. I hope you appreciate that the only thing that was really keeping me going was the cup wins because it was exciting. As soon as we got smashed by City, the season was done. We were always going gonna to win that League 2 title. Um, Noah Guy, defensive midfielder, 1.5 million, 4.5. I'm going to accept that. Um, he can go. So, yeah, just to wrap it up, thank you for the support already on this channel, on this career mode, Creator Club career mode in Season 1. It's been over like that, but on purpose. League 1 will be pretty similar. Championship, you're going to get a lot more games and a lot more thrown-up results. we got a goddamn trophy there because we are promoted into League 1. So the next time I see you guys, it will be a League One football club. Leachy Athletic, ready to shine, this time in a division higher. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, I'll see you in League One. Peace, people.